What's up everyone, I am Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and this is our 2018 Dual Sport and Adventure Helmet Buyer's Guide. All right, so today we're gonna to show you our top five Dual Sport and Adventure helmets for 2018. Now this is gonna be a mix. Some of these helmets are helmets that we wear on our adventure rides that we know and that we really like. And some of these are gonna be helmets that are some of our most popular and best selling. Now I'm gonna go through and talk about each helmet individually and I'm gonna briefly cover the key features and the highlights that each helmet has, why it's in our top five and what separates it from the rest. Now keep in mind that when you find a helmet that you're interested in, make sure to watch our detailed product spotlight videos that I have for each one of these helmets where we talk about them in full detail. If you have any questions about these helmets, you can comment below, chat live online, or give us a call and we will definitely get your questions answered. And also keep in mind, as I start, we're gonna start with the least expensive or we're, gonna work, we're going to work our way up in price. All right, so the first helmet in our lineup is gonna be the Pioneer Adventure from LS2. Now, in my opinion, best helmet coming in under $200. You're gonna get a lot of cool features here. So it's gonna be DOT and ECE certified, and a size medium comes in at 3.3 pounds, which is actually very lightweight for an adventure helmet. Along with that, you're gonna get an optically correct face shield so it doesn't distort your vision when you look through it. You're also gonna have a drop-down sun visor. That's a feature that I really like in an adventure helmet, and that is something that you typically don't see in a helmet at this price point. You're also gonna have emergency cheek pad removal system and just a very comfortable helmet that does everything well. And again, coming in less than $200, a lot of value. Next up on the list, we have the Bell MX-9 Adventure with MIPS. Now, Bell needs no introduction. These guys have been around making high quality helmets for a very long time. Now, the MX-9 Adventure with MIPS is a helmet that I've worn along with other riders here at Rocky Mountain, and this is one of our most popular. It's a very comfortable helmet. And one thing I will point out, guys, remember that any helmet that we have, we have our fit guarantee. So if you ever get a helmet and you're not happy with the sizing or the fitment, just send it back to us in brand new unused condition, and we give you free shipping on your first exchange. For the MX-9 Adventure, it's going to be DOT and ECE rated. Again, very comfortable, good venting. The shield is not optically correct. That's one nitpick that I do have, but it's not a deal breaker. But the big feature here is going to be with the MIPS liner system. So that's on the inside. It goes between the EPS and the comfort liner. It stands for multi-directional impact protection system. There's a big emphasis nowadays when it comes to directional impact and dispersing the energy. So the MIPS liner allows the rider's head to slip just a little bit inside the helmet in the event of an angular crash to help disperse some of that energy. That's a big safety feature and it is the only helmet in the lineup that is using that. Now moving on from there, we have the XO18950 from Scorpion. Another really solid helmet coming in just under the $300 mark. A lot of great features here. I think Scorpion did a really good job with this helmet. So you're gonna be DOT certified. You're gonna have an optically correct face shield. What I like is the vent up here on the top is going to open and close, very easy to actuate. And also with this helmet, just like with the LS2 Pioneer, you are going to have a drop down sun visor, very easy to operate. But with the XO18950, the big story here is this is the only modular helmet that we have in the lineup. If you're not familiar with what a modular helmet is, well, what it means is that the chin bar will completely flip up and out of the way. Why would you want this with a helmet? Well, it's a big convenience factor. If you're at a gas station, if you need to stop and make a phone call or talk to somebody, you can raise the chin bar up. It makes it easy to do those things, maybe have a snack. You don't have to take the helmet off to do so. That's a big feature that a lot of people are a big fan of. And I really like that Scorpion has given you a full modular helmet along with some other great features and you're still coming in under $300. That's the XO18950 from Scorpion. Moving on from there, we now have the Climb Cryos. Now with the Cryos, the big feature here with Climb, these guys are known for using only the highest quality materials in anything that they make, and they didn't skip anything here with the Cryos. So the Cryos, the big story, it's gonna be DOT and ECE certified, but it's gonna be in the shell construction. They use a full carbon fiber hand-laid shell construction, which makes this helmet incredibly light. A size medium comes in right at three pounds. It's a very lightweight helmet. It's also very comfortable. The lightest helmet that is in our lineup. You're also gonna have the optically correct face shield that's gonna come pin lock ready. If you're not familiar with pin lock, it's an anti-fogging anti system. So instead of just having a coating on the lens, it's a separate lens that actually uses the pins on the shield and it creates a barrier. It separates the warm air from the cold air. And when it comes to anti-fogging, that pin lock system really is the best you're gonna get. Very comfortable helmet has a nice aggressive look to it. The vent here on the front does open and close. That's a feature I like. And also with the Climb Cryos, if you use a Bluetooth communicator, one thing that they did I really like is they teamed up with Cena and they have a 10U that is built to integrate with the Cryo. So it has a seamless integration, so it's gonna mount up extremely easy. It has a nice sleek look to it. So if that's what you're a fan of and you wanna use a Bluetooth communicator, check out the 10U that goes along with the Climb Cryos. 
Now the last helmet that I have up here in the lineup, this is the XD4 from Araya. Now with the XD4, one of our most popular helmets year after year, it's one that several of our riders here at Rocky Mountain use, and for good reason. It's known for being one of the most comfortable helmets that is on the market. Now a lot of our riders will also say that this helmet does a really good job when it comes to fitment for riders that have a longer head shape. All the helmets on the table today are going to be a medium to oval head shape, but if you do have a longer head shape, they say that the Araya is going to accommodate those riders a little bit better. So the Araya does everything really well. You're going to have an optically correct face shield. One feature I really like is the shield has the vents that are built into it, so it's going to get airflow directly to the shield to help combat fogging. All your vents are going to open and close. What I really like when it comes to fitment, reason it's so comfortable, is they actually have five millimeter pillowways on the cheek pads to help you customize and get the fit that you are looking for. Another feature that really stands out with the XD4 from Mirai, this is the only helmet that's going to be DOT and Snell rated. If you're not familiar with Snell, it is a nonprofit organization. They don't just certify any helmet. Manufacturers send their helmets to Snell, and Snell runs their helmets through their rigorous tests. And if they pass, they are then Snell certified. And this is something that helmets manufacturers have to seek. And that's what I really like about the Arai XD4 is you're getting that Snell rating. That's a big safety feature if you ask me. But that's going to be the Arai XD4. Again, very popular, known for being extremely comfortable, does everything really well. All right, so thanks for checking out our 2018 Dual Sport and Adventure Helmet Buyer's Guide. Now, if you saw a helmet that you're interested in, remember, watch our detail product spotlights where we talk about these helmets in full detail. To pick yours up, you can click on the link or head over to our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com. These are all going to ship for free. Don't forget, we have our fit guarantee. And some of the best advice I can give when it comes to helmet shopping is read rider reviews. And also, if you have questions, ask those on the product page and you will get answers from customers who have bought these helmets. Don't forget, make sure you click subscribe to us on YouTube. Stay up to date on the latest gear guides, product reviews, how-to videos. We also do a lot of adventure rides. We document those and share our stories with you viewers. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.